Hi guys, this is Saurav. In this video, we will learn how to create online grocery shopping app. So, uh, in the last tutorial, and we have done a lot of things. Okay, so I got one suggestion from one user, and that one is in a comment. That one is uh, Anand Gupta. I have a suggestion that we should hide the password button and password text box from the normal users. And when the owner will write a specific text code in the text box one, then he and she will able to see the list of items, okay, which are ordered by people. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. So what we will do for that? So uh, you can see that the design we have done. So I'm going to remove this section here, okay. So we don't need this section here. So I'm going to make this. I'm going to delete this one. Fine. And I'm going to make this one is visible on, okay. And I'm going to use here one vertical scroll arrangement. You will see here that one, and drag and drop this one here. Uh, I'm going to make it here, and I'm going to make this one with this fill parent like this, and make this one list view here, and delete this one vertical arrangement, and make this vertical arrangement in the last. Like uh, you have to drag and drop this one like this. Like this, fine. Now what we will do, we are going to display this vertical scroll arrangement when some owner will, uh, you know, put some code. Like I'm just going to write down here what we will do. We are going to do. We are going to use here one condition. That one is if else condition. So I'm going to make it here control and use if else. Okay, so that one is order button. So you um, the owner will get the information. Okay, and if the if someone will submit some if specific code, so we have to display the list view. It means the order list. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use that one logic, and if the text box one value is something, you can change the password also. So I'm going to make here simple. So if someone put here A, B, and C, then we have to display the value, right? So what I'm going to do, what I will do, that uh, I'm going to make it here vertical arrangement, scroll arrangement should be visible on. So we don't need to write uh, and we don't need to drag and drop another text box for the password. Okay, so I'm going to make it true. Like this, fine, great. So, okay, I'm going to drag and drop this if else condition in the up, fine. If and I'm using here else also. So, if the owner will submit some information, so this will not going to save in the cloud TV. Okay. If the text box one dot text dot equal to ABC, then we have to uh, set vertical element visible true. Otherwise. If that value is wrong, so we have to save the information. So we we will assume it that one is the user. Okay. So let's see and yeah, make sure there is one mistakes we have done. Uh, that one is we have to make it. Uh, you can see here in the last video we have make it global list. So make sure this should be a global value. This one is value. Okay. Correct this one. Now let's see how it's work. Uh, let's see here. Now, if I order something like uh, uh, sugar, okay, and uh, that's my email address, so I have to put some information like in the hint box. So I'm going to use here uh, email. Oh, no, no, sorry, number. And second one is for second one is for address. So make this one address. Fine. Okay, uh, let's see how it's work. Yeah, number. So I'm going to just put here sugar one kg, and my number is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten, and the address is tally like this. Now I'm going to click on the order button. Fine, the order is complete. Okay, we have to clear the these all uh, you know text field also. So what we will do? I'm going to make it go to the block section. And we have to make it clear. So what I'm going to do here? So I have to make it clear. So you will see a text box one. So text box one dot text set. Text box one dot text should be clean. So after saving the data, 
okay so we have to make it clean so just like this and use your text and uh, just drag and drop this one like here and as it is like I'm going to make it here like this okay and copy and paste this again three times for this text box one two and for the three also fine so I'm going to change the text box one two and make this one should be three fine so this will if I'm going to make it order again it means sugar is something uh, if I just put here rice okay to 1 kg and click on order fine now uh, the information will save now we have to fetch the information so owner only the owner will know that how I can see the information so he just put if A B and C and just click on order and you will see the information here so I already have saved a lot of things like you know so there are a lot a lot of more things you can do with this so I'm just going to explain you that how many things you can do with this app so you can add one more thing like that if the user if the sorry owner if the owner will click on the list then item should be removed okay because we have to remove the list from the item also right so i will create a, a separate video for that list uh, item related so you can use here you will see here the option of remove so you can use this remove list item okay so you can use this second thing what you can do you can do this thing like you can use a notifier okay whenever the data will update cloud dv dot update so we have to call notifier that one order is received okay for the for that you can use the notifier component and call your notifier on here you will see here data will change or uh, we got the value from cloud dv two things you can do the main purpose of this video is that you have a you get the idea about the apps how you can make the apps and the how you can make the app that can use the normal people and that that app should be useful in this situation and if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment i will definitely reply you reply okay thank you so much have a nice day be safe bye bye